What's up ladies and gents? This is Casey Kid coming at you with another Destiny video. Today we're doing our Q&A session, so if you've got some questions you would like to see me potentially answer next week, go ahead and leave it in the comment section below. If you enjoy this video, smack that like button and subscribe to the channel. Also, it's Mother's Day, so for all you moms out there, congratulations, have an enjoyable day. For me, I'm going to try to finish up this video, then go get ready, and we're taking my mom out to dinner, so that should be a nice time. Enjoy the day, all of you. Now, this match that we're going to be showing for the Q&A video is a skirmish match that I did the other night. I think it was Friday, and I was just running around with my buddy, Lion. We finished up the Challenge Belders, and he was like, what do you want to do? I happened to see that I had a number of Shaxx bounties to still do. One of them was get skirmish wins, get some points in the featured daily match, just a whole bunch of other things, and decided to run into this. This was also my second match, I believe, running the Panther Ray Fusion Rifle, and wow, this match is really good. And of course I say that as I start the match off and just get utterly smoked in the beginning. But I find that that happens to me a lot. I don't think I'm a really great Crucible starter. It takes me a little while to just warm up to the match, warm up to the people that are in it. I get much better as it goes along, and I'm going to have some really, really nice moments in this match. Also, you're in store for a nice epic fail for sure as the match goes on. So don't worry, you'll get to see a little bit of everything. But let's jump into our Q&A now. We're starting off with Melissa, and she's asking about our sub goal that I put out for the beginning of the new year. At that time, I had around 1,200 subs, and I set a goal for 5,000 by the end of this year, which was pretty much growing my channel by four times. So as you can see right now, we're actually really close to 4,000 subs right now, so we are easily on pace for cracking that 5,000 barrier. In fact, we're somewhere around the pace where we could get close to 10,000 at the end of the year, though that's obviously speculating and projecting stuff far into the future. And that's kind of what I want to talk about a little bit. Just talking about what it's like being a small channel. And it's crazy. And what Melissa's asking is actually something that's pretty legit. Because she's asking if we see a steady growth, if we happen to see any spikes. And yeah, we see spikes. I just had gone through a nice spike, again, before the April update came out. It's so weird. Every time a new update comes out in Destiny, as soon as the update comes out, my channel kind of stagnates and just goes straight down. And I think what it is, is a lot of people, whenever new content comes out, they go to the bigger channels that have more access because maybe they're doing this full-time as their full-time job. They have more access to playing time and they can get in and they can release all of the new content and information immediately for you. Whereas me, I have to take things one step at a time. I do my normal job. I come back, I do my one video a day. And I think whenever that stuff happens, I kind of fall down the wayside as far as where people go to look for their destiny information. Though as the content stays out for a long time, I'm still here every single day putting out the Destiny content and people come back because they're starving for Destiny content because some of the bigger channels, they have other things that they like to do. They don't just focus on Destiny. Some of them do. Some of them don't. Some of them put out some different games. They play some other things because they get bored because they've been playing Destiny for so long. It's uh, you know pretty draining on them. And when that happens, I see a lot of growth over here on my channel. Like I said, before the April update, we were getting some really significant growth. 50 subs a day, sometimes upwards of 89 subs a day, 10,000 views a day. Yeah, some really, really nice stuff. And then the April update came out, and it kind of teetered off just a bit. It teetered off, and, you know, we're kind of flatlining as we're going. Not flatlining as far as zero views or anything like that. We're still doing really nice. It's just we're not at the spike that we were. And I've now witnessed this two times. I witnessed this for the April update and when the Taken King came out originally. Though with the Taken King, I kind of understand. Bungie completely changed the game, so they kind of made all my archive of old library videos just kind of obsolete. So I understand that stuff. But that's just one of the things with being a smaller YouTube channel. You really ride a roller coaster. You ride a crazy roller coaster throughout the entire thing. Whereas whenever you're a little bit of a bigger channel, you pretty much have the views straight. You know exactly what you're going to be getting pretty much every single day. And that's just one of the things I'd like to just impart into people that are smaller channels. You kind of have to play the game a little bit. You have to figure out what it is people might like to see. You have to really work that social networking. You've got to make sure that you're constant with your updates because any little thing can kind of throw you off track and it's really easy to get thrown off track. But when you get thrown off track, realize that it's just not the end. As long as you continue putting forward the effort, 
you're going to get to where you want to go. It might not be as fast as some of the other channels that you see. It might not be as fast, and believe me, I would love to see another huge spike. I'd love to see this channel just explode again and have a ton of subscribers just so that we could say, hey, you know, here we are as a community and there's a lot of people here. There's a lot of people supporting it. There's already a lot of people supporting it. Compared to where I started in the beginning, this channel has grown farther and better than I imagined at all. So I'm very, very grateful for that. But I think we've got a lot of room to grow and I think we will grow. How quick that'll be, you know, I don't know. I love it whenever I see the people come in the comments and they're like, wow, I just found your channel. It's amazing. I can't believe you don't have more subs. And you know what? We'll get there. We'll get there at some point. Everybody that keeps coming to the channel like that is just helping to spread the word out and we will get there. And you who have smaller YouTube channels as well, you will get there as well because you'll develop your fans, your followers, your other like-minded people that are really enjoying doing the same stuff that you're putting out. But that overnight spike, that overnight spike just really doesn't happen. I mean, I guess it could if you happen to put out a viral video, but those are really not the easiest thing to exactly predict or anything like that. And it's just not something that I would ever bank on. I always would bank on hard work as opposed to just getting lucky with a viral video. Of course, if a bigger channel does happen to take notice of you, that could always really help out. So. I keep putting myself out there, who knows, maybe one of the big channels will come by someday and they'll be like, wow, I never recognized you before. <laughs> and then you never know, we might get a spike from that too. Any little thing could help out, but in the meantime, just continue plugging forward. And moving on to question number two, we've got Dylan asking about if I ever sleep. And this is actually the second time that somebody's asked this and I've answered it in a Q&A video and I've actually seen it in the comments sections below a number of times. And whenever I see this, I really appreciate that stuff because to me, that's somebody that gets and understands what it is that I'm actually putting into this channel because it's somebody that recognizes how much I'm actually working, not only in my regular job and doing the normal stuff that you have to do in your life, but then coming home and making this a primary focus, making sure that I've got content and entertainment for those of you out there in all of the work then that it takes to respond to all the comments and come up with the different ideas. It's just a ton of work. I could never really explain it to anybody that's not actually in the same situation. It's just a lot of stuff, and I've got a lot of respect for all of the other YouTube channels, big or small, that do the same type of stuff because it can be very, very draining. And think about it. I think I've got 500, and this might be 22, 522 videos, so 522 constant days of uploading a video every single day. Imagine your last 522 days. Did you ever feel in a bad mood that day? Did you ever feel just down in the dumps or depressed or sick or anything like that? I certainly have over these 522 days. And yet, you know, I just plug forward and do a video every single day. So it is a lot of work. And as far as sleeping, we do it when we can. But this channel and you guys out there, you guys are the reason why I continue doing this stuff and why I push myself so hard every single day. Moving on to question number three, we have a Destiny question from Chandler asking what my favorite primary, secondary, and heavy weapon is from the vanilla game in Destiny. So for me, whenever I like to answer this question, I typically do it as far as a loadout goes, and I believe it's going to stay pretty constant. For me, I really love the Fatebringer. I loved my Felwinter's Lie with Shot Package and luck in the chamber that was void. I love to take that in the vault of glass and just kill the minotaurs whenever we were doing the gatekeeper section. And of course, the Yalhorn. The Yalhorn took me so long to get. It took so long. I was on such a quest to finally get that gun to drop. And I think that's one of the interesting things actually about my list. For instance, I took me forever to get the Yalhorn. It took forever to get it. And eventually I did get three, but the first one took until maybe March, March, whenever I finally got the first one, and as far as the Fatebringer, I only ever got one Fatebringer. Still to this day, still only one Fatebringer at all, and that Felwinter's Lie was shot package and luck in the chamber, an absolute animal, and that wasn't reforged, that came stock, so yeah, I was pretty lucky with those guns, they definitely fit the need, they definitely fit the meta of doing and killing everything in Destiny. So they're always going to hold a fond place in my heart. Of course, we can't use the Fatebringer anymore. Shot package doesn't exist, and Yalahorn is still just like the Fatebringer, stuck in year one. And finally, we have Ryan asking if I'm ever going to get onto the Xbox to play Destiny. And this is a tricky question. It's kind of one of those things where 
I have to weigh out what it is I've got going on in my life. And it's pretty much a combination of money and time as far as why I'm on the PlayStation and not the Xbox. Obviously, I've got the PlayStation system. I've got all my characters leveled up. In order to go over to the Xbox, I'd have to buy the Xbox One. And then when do I have the time to be able to devote to two systems? Because as we mentioned in this video, I'm pretty spread out, pretty thin as far as even being able to just play on one system. It's really tricky as it is. So that's the main reason. It's not like I hate Xbox or anything like that. It's just whenever I weigh out the time that I've got in my life and you know where the value is, I just don't have that ability to go and grab an Xbox and level up three characters on that and play on two systems. So that's the Q&A this week. If you enjoyed this video, smack that like button and subscribe to the channel. Check out these awesome videos. Good luck with your raids, your drops, the Taken King, and I'll see you around in Destiny. Let's go to sleep. Happy Mother's Day.